Hi everybody, this is Luba. I am a Perfectly Posh Consultant and I am doing a video review from our new catalog. And it is the I'm Turning Blueberry face mask. I have samples, so if anybody wants any, go ahead PM me and I will send you out some of these samples. And yes, the packaging does look like Willy Wonka in a Chocolate Factory and reminds me of the girl that ate the blueberries and turned a big blueberry. Uh, it says specifically the sweet smelling fragrance, uh, fresh blueberries and yogurt will be the ultimate calming experience. So this is to calm your face um, from redness and all those other little fun things. The blueberry soothes as the yogurt tones leave your skin face hydrated, smooth and feeling fresh. It says the instructions say leave on five to 10 minutes. I'm going to start with five minutes. You may, if you have very sensitive skin, you may want to use it a little bit less and work your way up to the 10 minutes. So let's put some on and see what happens. I'm gonna use one of my spiffy diffy little mask brushes here so I don't have to get all over my hands. And if you see it, it's white, it's not blue like a blueberry, but if you see all those little marks on my face, those are all little blueberry seeds. And of course, yogurt. And right now, it smells like very, very sweet blueberry. I like it. It's not like pungent blueberry. It does not smell like yogurt. It smells just like a fresh, sweet blueberry. So you wanna make sure you get all the little spots on your face all the way around. Make yourself look silly with a little mask. You don't want to get too close to your eyes because you don't have extra sensitive skin there. So we don't want to do that. I always make sure I get the bridge of my nose very well as well as the little crevices on the side of your nose and my nose itself. Because we all know how many times a day we touch our face and our hands are filthy. Okay, and get some on your forehead. And this mask sells for $18. And it is in a new tube. They used to come in little containers that look like this. But we no longer use those because they took out more preservatives so you have less preservatives in here and this also keeps it cleaner. Instead of sticking your dirty fingers in the tube and knowing who knows what putting it in there, you are now going to have a cleaner, fresher experience. And what's better than having less preservatives in anything naturally based? Right, make sure you get your eyebrows because little things live in there too. All right, I'm all masked out and I am going to wait five, to, about five minutes or so, and we'll be back. Okay, it's been about five minutes. And if you look, it's starting to dry, which is fine. A little, maybe a little bit of redness, which is normal. If your face turns red after using anything that has kaolin in it, it is spelled K-A-O-L-I-N. That is normal. Uh, don't do anything that has kaolin in it, before you want to go somewhere in case your face does turn red, uh, it'll take anywhere between half an hour to an hour afterwards to um, not be so red. What it is is kaolin brings blood to the surface, so that's why your face turns red. It's not a bad thing. So I'm going to rinse it off and show you what my face looks like right after washing. And that's how quick you can pamper yourself in just five minutes. If you look, I have a little bit of redness, 
a little on my nose and that's okay because that's supposed to but if you look I feel smoother if, if you ever put yogurt on your face it does feel a lot like that so when you have that it brightens out the skin a little I feel refreshed and it did not sting at all or anything like our peppermint or um, cackle spackle does so it's a nice refreshing one it doesn't look like I need to use any moisturizer because this is a soothing one and it seems to moisturize pretty well so on a scale from one to five right now I'm giving it a five and I hope you try to and let us know what you think have a good night guys and don't forget I have samples if you want some or you can order some one last tip you will have all the little blueberries in your sink you want to make sure you rinse those down because if they get dry they get stuck to your sink so make sure you just rinse those out so you don't have to worry about those later getting all stuck on your sink